All right, guys, so today I'm going to show to you how to create imposters for Unreal Engine 5. So this is not supported by Nanite because we are using the footage asset with two side subsurface. So this is a free asset for Stylus Forest. This is free for the month. You can go to download and now in the launcher, clicking add to project, clicking show our project, choose your Unreal Engine 5 project. I will change this version for 4.26 for download and put in my project and then you're just clicking add to project. So I've already made this and this is the map for the overview. So this is all the asset that came with this asset. So one thing we need to do is remove the wind effect. This is the word position offset. So let's click in this mesh and in these materials. So this is a material instance, open the parent. The parent is the master material. So I will click in this line and remove the connection. Right click, make material attributes. And now just hold control, click and drag from the pin name and add in the make material attributes. Now in the material, put the use material attributes for be just one pin and right click in the empty space and put imposter capture suite. So now you just pin, okay, like this and put save, click in save. So this will compile the shaders. Let's close this and let's find another material. So this material. So again, you gonna do the same thing, make material attributes, hold control, click and drag, same names in the same things, like this. Don't connect the word position offset because we need to disable this, remove. This view exists in below and then after we create our imposter, we can turn on. So click in use material attributes, imposter capture suite, and just connect like this. Clicking save again for compile the shaders. And now we can go to our plugin. So click in settings, show plugin content. Now you can click in imposter baker content BP and drag this BP generated imposter sprites. Okay, this is invisible, so let's duplicate this tree. I will hold out, click and drag like this. This is very easy to do. Now you need to find where is your BP in the scene. So type right here BP, BP generate imposter sprites, click in this icon and choose your tree. So I will move this again and we do this process. Okay, now we have more space, click in clear IT first, then render frames and let's wait a little. So generate our imposters, but this is very ugly we need to configure the proper channels. So go to buffer visualization, base color. So the basic color are looking okay. Find now roughness. Roughness value are a little strange. So we need to configure these values. In the BP generating posture sprites, find the constant roughness right below. So you need to put a number between zero to one. This is for be more precise. After you create this, you can change the values again, like a material instance. So now let's put a proper value for the specular. So the two need to match in the color. So it will be a seamless transition between our mesh and to your imposters. So like this. Maybe the colors not are 100%. I need to change something in the subsurface. 
But uh, don't worry, I will show to you everything. So let's go to where normal. Okay, where normal are okay. In Unreal Engine 5 and 4.26, we have some problems with the foliage assets, with imposters. But don't worry, if you drag like I do this, like me, we'll be fine. So this is the subsurface color. You just need to click in lit. And okay, so this is fine. Now we need to find, this is my values, so you can copy and paste in yours. So let's create the imposters. First, I like to know what is this asset name. So I will click in my asset, find in the content browser and type F2, my key F2 to rename, so Ctrl C and then we're back to BP generated, clicking procedural mesh and create a static mesh. Find some location to save, give the name and clicking save. So now let's find where I put this. So is this right click and we need to export this mesh. Okay, don't save because we'll crash your engine. Go to asset actions and export. Find some location to save your imposters in your hard drive. Give the proper name and click in save. Okay, like this. And now you can delete this asset. Don't worry because this is the right way to do. I have some, I have some problems here because Okay, let's continue. So clicking BP generator imposter sprites. So right here, let's paste our name for the textures and for material instance. Now you click in the bottom tree, bottom number three. And okay, save this asset. This is my new material instance based on this tree. So let's open our, our tree. And we need to import a new level of the LOD. So in our last LOD level 3, now I find my, my imposter. So you can back to see what I made. And let's wait a little because this will need to compile the, the distance field. So we're generating mesh distance field. Okay. So this is my last level LOD. This is my imposter. And I need to put my material instance to work. So this is my generated material instance for this tree. I just click and drag and click and save to save this asset. But I need to activate this distance. Okay. So we need to go to LOD tree and put a proper name for the screen. So let's find the LOD2 is dot two for the distance. So the current screen size, that number, the first number that are changing is the distance. So I think in 0 0.10 will be okay. Okay, clicking save, close, close. And now is working. If you go to right frame, you can see the mesh and now you see. So are working. Okay. For this, the first three are okay. So I will click and drag using the out and change. So right here, we need to find the, the right frame, this delete version. And let's see how this subsurface is. I think is not working. I need to go to my material instance for the imposters and go to simple offset. This is my material for the imposters. And right here, you click in your last material node, change to subsurface, clicking two sided, 
and you will need to save this. So clicking save will compile our shaders again. And okay, so this is a better transition with the colors. You see, maybe in the YouTube you can't see the difference, but is very good. Okay, so let's move on. I will, I will show to you my speed tree. I will make a video about this later, but this is a foliage for the Unreal Engine 5 and I put my imposter, so I'm working fine. Okay, so I will increase the, the floor value and let's add in the foliage. So I will put a density of 1 and if you click it, you're gonna see not working like the, the others. So I need to change the, I need to enable the effect distance field and effect dynamic lighting. So now I'm working fine. But don't try to use this because maybe some assets will rotate the imposters and will be an ugly transition, but you can use, okay? So that's it. I will see to you some examples. Okay. I think the transition are fine right here. Let's put in the wireframe. So everything here is imposters. This is the same technique that Fortnite uses. This tool was generated by Ryan Brooks. So let's see. <laughs> we have some problems in the in the collision. So I'm floating. Let's move. Okay. So now it's fine. This is my speed tree. This is a realistic tree from the speed tree software. And let's see the transition. Okay, so this is the transition, real mesh, and for distance are the imposters. I have some problems in the illumination, but don't worry. The next part I'm gonna show to you, this will be the next video. So I will show to you how you can create the imposters for all of this big tree. And we are gonna optimize this a little bit. Then I am gonna turn on Lumen so you can see the difference. And this asset you can find on my Udemy course. I have a course about how you can create imposters and with a lot of examples like other trees and some other meshes okay so thanks for watching and subscribe bye